Is there such a thing as a Superman curse? Kirk Allen was the first to put on the cape on screen, he said in an interview that once he had played the Man of Steel, he just couldn't get any work again. Misfortune also befell this second Superman with George Reeves. He took on the role in 1951 until 1959 when he was found dead by a shotgun wound which went down as suicide. But there was no evidence that he pulled the trigger. Next came Christopher Reeve, playing the Man of Steel in for movies. Unfortunately, in 1995, he was paralyzed in a horse riding accident. He spent years raising money for research into helping people who were paralyzed, but unfortunately passed away in 2004, followed two years later by his wife Dana from cancer. Marlon Brando played Superman's father in the 1978 movie. He died within a few months of Christopher Reeve and had a lot of bad luck on the way. Marlon's son Christian spent time in prison for murdering his sister Cheyenne's boyfriend. A few months after the murder Cheyenne gave birth only to lose custody of the baby because of mental illness. Sadly, in 1995, she killed herself and Marlon became a recluse. Richard Pryor starred in Superman 3. He battled drug addiction and many people blamed the curse on him developing multiple sclerosis. He died in 2005. Kate Bosworth once said that she blames the curse on the breakdown in her relationship with fellow actor Orlando Bloom. She played Lois Lane in the 2006 Superman Returns. Margot Kidder played Lois Lane alongside Christopher Reeve. In 1996, Margot disappeared for several days until found by police. They said she was in a paranoid and delusional state. Margot passed away in 2018 and she also stated that she never believed in a curse. Let's just hope it was sheer bad luck and that there isn't a curse. And we can look forward to Henry putting on the cape again in 2023 for Man of Steel 2. Henry, by the way, is the first non-American to play the superhero.